I've got a classic Parker story for you. Thursday night, some of our community groups got together and they had a donut party. Well, Parker decided he's gonna go to Walmart, buy some bagels, get some frosting and some sprinkles. He frosted a bagel, put some sprinkles on it, and then went to Krispy Kreme's and got a dozen donuts from Krispy Kreme's, mixed in the bagel, frosted covered bagel, into the Krispy Kreme's. People at the group are like, what's wrong with Krispy Kreme's? They left an old donut in the bin. What were they thinking? Oh, this kind of tastes like a bagel. Well, who brought it? None other than Parker. This story makes me think of 1 Corinthians 5.6. The words that Paul says here are, your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Do you not know that a little yeast works its way through the dough? Do you not know that a little tiny small aspect of your life can actually have an effect on the whole? This is in reference to boasting. We're to boast in the Lord, not in ourselves. But think about the sin in your life. Have you let a little bit of sin creep into the good areas of your life? If you're not careful, you'll quickly find out that it affects the whole situation.